Hello YouTubers! <laughs> this video is not related to any vehicle repairs. I just want to show you how to clean the, your washing machine. So if you have a problem, there's a, a poor drainage, uh, you feel like your clothes is wet and sometimes you have like an error code, it says error um, and it's draining kind of poorly. There's a one thing you can do, you can clean the filter and I'll show you where it is. This is my mom's washing machine. It's Whirlpool. And um, these washing machines get clogged up. So I know for a fact after two years of usage, she never cleaned it. And sometimes there's an error code here that shows you something uh, or it's like blinking. And when you open this door, you'll see like water here, like remaining some of the water staying here. And it's not draining well. Well, it's very easy. Now, some of these washing machines might be different, but they all have this. They have this like little valve here. You will just twist it counterclockwise. That's where a pump is and it, get it gets clogged up. Things get stuck in there. So this washing machine is easy. There's an access here from the front. Sometimes you have to unscrew this panel. There are like small bolts on the bottom and some washing machines, you have to pull them forward, pull them out and take the panel on the back so or you could actually have a washing machine that has like a little cutout here where you open it up and then you can see this uh, filter they all look the same so if you have this washing machine model it's a whirlpool and it looks like this front loader let me see the model this is the model number WFW662 0HAWO. So that's where the location of that filter is right there. You open this panel, boom, nice. So we have to remove this, these little plastic tabs. You gotta push them in and pull this thing out on this side, and same thing on this side. And now this whole drawer comes out nice and easy. Let's put it on the side here. And you need to grab like um, a towel, put a bunch of towels here, or grab this like a little tray here to collect water. And uh, we're gonna, also there's like a little valve here. And I think if I remove this, we can drain the remaining water out of there. So take your hand and start turning it counterclockwise. And you see water coming out there. You have some water coming out. The best thing is either use a shop whack or put like a bunch of towels there and uh, drain it. I already smell, this water smells nasty, so it's probably clogged up. So let's put some towels there. So as you see here, a lot of water dripping down here. <laughs> so I have that towel handy and let it all drip. some water still coming out best way I like to do put a shop uh, vacuum cleaner like the shop whack and just suction all the water out but this is how nasty this looks and there's some coins in there so yeah let's throw this garbage out So I cleaned this plastic piece, got the quarter out, and also inside, grab like a towel, push it in there, twist it, get all the garbage out of there. See there's some stuff in there on the side on the walls, try to clean it out. If not, take a vacuum cleaner, shop vac, and just 
suction it out. It's a very easy job. I found my dad has this shop wax. It's wet and dry. I removed the filter and put like a other filter so we can turn it on. So I vacuum the inside of this and just to make sure there's nothing stuck inside I use the vacuum cleaner. Uh, installation process very easy. You see this little notch on the top and this little line right here it's all supposed to align so you just push it through that's it and start tightening. Go clockwise that's it And now let's turn on the machine before putting this back. Uh, let's turn on the machine, make sure everything drains fine. We're gonna put quick cycle. Let's turn on the power. Quick. Uh, let's do quick. Uh, I have a little bit different machine at home, so I don't know how this one works. Add garment. I put this old towel inside there, added some detergent. I want to see how it fills with water. I want to make sure it rinses fine. I have different machine at home, but it's also Whirlpool. This one's more digitalized, has like all the touch screen. So, but this says locked, so it's locked and it's doing its thing supposed to start filling with water now just want to make sure that valve is not leaking on the bottom I can hear the water going in let's see yeah I could see the water draining well, it drains from here because I put detergent in here so yeah it's filling with water Okay, so I turn off the machine and it's draining now. I just want to check here on the bottom. See what's going on here. Yep. It drained the water nicely. There's our old rag. I just turn it off and nothing is leaking here. So that's good. So now the water is draining perfectly fine. The pump is not clogged up. That's very good. But I gotta clean this nastiness out of here. And we have no leaks here because uh, I cleaned this very nicely and the seal is very tight. So nothing is dripping. And the water is being Spend out. There you go. Very good. Seems like we fixed the problem. What we have to do is put this shelf back in its place, align these rods with a rail in there. Same thing here. Make sure this plastic piece is inside like this on both sides. Just This side in and now we have to get this side here a little click same thing on this side it's very easy fix guys and girls now you know how to uh, clean the filter on this washing machine 
if it's not draining or if there's some water left in the in the drum inside the machine uh, usually that's the filter usually clogged up you know it's easy fix and I like that this machine this Whirlpool has an access on the bottom here you can just remove this shelf and just unscrew the filter and it's very easy like some machines you have to look for it it's either on the back or on the side you'll look for like a little door opening but Whirlpool specifically this model they did a good job and uh, there should be no more codes because there's a huge quarter stuck in there and the panty and some other junk and the machine wasn't uh, draining properly and it was always giving my mom some kind of error some kind of code hopefully this will be no problems now thanks for watching Nazareto's channel I hope this episode was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one. So hit uh, hit that bell and subscribe. Bye.